would you like to be able to remember numbers really quickly? I'm going to teach you in this video how to do exactly that. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to remember 20 digits of pi, but more than that, you're going to have a system to go on and use to remember as many numbers as you want. And it's a really simple cheat system. So basically my daughter came home from school on Thursday night and she said to me, mom, there's a pie competition for who can ever can remember the most digits of pie. And I said, oh, okay, where are people up to? And there'd been some kids who are up to around hundred digits or so. And that's because they'd been writing them out over and over and over again, spending a lot of time on it. And, you know, and so she was really behind and she was saying, you know, is this possible? I said, absolutely. So we spent about an hour kind of getting things together, getting her this system and getting her started, which got her up to 120 digits. And then she spent a little bit more time on it over the weekend and went off to school this morning with 240 digits. So I thought, you know, I should probably share this system with you. It's not really the full system that I use, but it is a system. It's a, it's a system that works. It only needs you to learn a little code of 10 images that's super easy and then start practicing with it. So let's jump on in and learn this system and get you going. First of all, we've got to learn these 10 images. So what I want you to do is when you look at this zero here, you're going to see a plate, but you're not just going to see a plate, you're going to see a spinning plate. Now, obviously I've chosen a plate because it looks a little bit like the shape of a zero. So we've also tried to hook this in to make it as easy with associations for you to remember when you see the digit again. For a number one, we're going to see a candle, but not just a candle, a candle that bursts into flames. For a two, you're going to see a swan swimming on the water. For a number three, it's going to be a triangle. I want you to visualize a pencil that's sketching the triangle. And you can almost even hear that on the paper as the triangle is being drawn. For a four, because it looks a little bit like the number four, we're going to choose a pink flamingo because their legs often take that shape. We're taking off into flight and flying and flapping its big wings through the air. Then for a five, it's a hand and it just reaches up and it gives a high five and you hear the of a high five motion. For a six, it's a golf club and it swings through the air in a big arc and you can either visualize the swinging of the golf club or you can see the ball that flies off into the air. Either one's fine. For a seven, because it's shaped a little bit like the shape of a knife, let's go with a knife and let's see the knife going up and down as it chops something up. For an eight, we're going to go with a snowman, but you're going to see a snowman being built. So you want to see the first part being molded and then the second part being put on top. For a nine, to me it looks a little bit like a snake, but we don't just want to see a static snake. We want to see a snake coming up out of a hole out of the ground. Okay, so let's do this. Let's learn 20 digits of pi. First of all, you need to use a memory palace. So if you can either try to try and follow this along, if you don't know what a memory palace is and it starts to not make sense to you, watch my video on memory palaces. It's in the description below. And I've also got a blog that you can read on that as well. But you can also just try and follow along. It's pretty straightforward. So just choose a place that you know well. It could be your home. It could be your work. It could be your local supermarket. Choose a place you know well and we're going to place information in the way of images at each location in this memory palace. So just choose somewhere you know well like your home or your work. I'm going to choose a place where I used to work and you want to stand outside the front door of the entrance to wherever that place is and we're going to place the first four digits which is 1415. So pi goes 3.1415. Now, before we get started into learning some digits so you can see how this actually works and hangs together, I want you to notice that there's two things going on here. We've got image and we've got movement. And we're going to use both of those to remember numbers. And the way, the way we're going to do this is the first digit, the one, is going to be the image. So we've got one is a candle. And then the second digit, so four, is going to be the movement, so flying. So for 3.14, I'm going to assume you've got the three. <laughs> We're going to go one four would be a candle flying. So we've got a candle, which is a number one, and then we've got a four, which is flying. So outside your front door, you see a candle and it's flying. And you know that means one four. Then the next two digits are one five. So again, it's a candle, but now it's a high five. So outside the front door, you've got a candle. It takes off, it starts flying. That's the one four. And then there's another candle there and it's jumping up and it's trying to reach the one that's flying to give it a high five. So, so far we've got 
0.15. Then we're going to move on to the next location, which for me in my head, I'm using a place at work is a little um, a little slidey security thing, but you would go to wherever your next location would be. If you're at home, that may be just inside your door, it might be a little table, it could be a couch. So go to a new location in your pathway. And we're gonna place the next two images. And the next two images are 9265. So we've got 9265, you're in your next location. And you're gonna go nine. Nine is a snake. Two is water. Now, what am I going to do here? I don't really want to see a snake swimming on water because that's a bit abstract to me. So I'm going to see a snake crying and I'm going to just learn that water of any description means two. So I've got a snake for the nine, crying for the two. And then, and that's on that new location for me, which is the little swipey security pass part. Then um, the next two digits are six, five, and six is a golf club, and five is high five. So I'm going to see this snake cr crying, and then there's this little golf club comes up, and it sees the snake, and it's trying to cheer it up, so it's trying to give it a high five, but the snake's just crying and won't join in. Then you want to move to the next location in your pathway. So wherever would be the next natural place that you would progress to in your memory palace, you would go there next. And the next four digits are three, five, eight, nine. Now at this place of work where I was, um, the next thing I would see is just off to the left is a couch. So wherever your next location you would naturally choose in a pathway through somewhere you know would be, that's where you go next. So we're gonna start with the three, five. Three is a triangle, three sides, three. Giving a high five. So I see a little triangle on the couch and he's going high five. And then we've got an eight, nine. And for eight, nine, I simply see a snowman, which is the eight, but he's sliding up out of the ground like a snake. So there's a hole in the ground next to the couch and this snowman's coming up. So this is little triangle and he's looking down now to give a high five to this snowman who's coming up out of the ground like a snake. So when we now have 12 digits, we've got three point, one, four, one, five, which is that's the first location in your head. You should see a candle flying, a candle giving the other candle a high five. Then you go to your next location. I see a snake crying and there's a golf club trying to cheer him up by giving him a high five. I move to the couch and on the couch, I see a triangle looking down, giving a high five to a snowman who's coming up, which translates into three, five, eight, nine. Then from there, the next four digits are um, seven, nine, three, two. And I'm going to go to, um, we then had these chairs along a wall, which was sort of like a waiting area. So I'm going to go to that waiting area and you in your head, go to your next location. And there we've got a seven and a nine. So seven is a knife and nine is coming up out of the ground. So now it's a knife coming up out of the ground, but I'm going to see it coming up out of the ground and it's sort of stabbing through one of the chairs. So there's these chairs there and the knife is stabbing through the chairs. Um, and going to sit down on that is the next two digits, which is three, two. And that's great because I'm going to see a triangle, a little triangle man with hands and legs. And he sits down on the knife and starts to cry. So then that means three, two. So now you'll hopefully start to see a pattern forming and we've done what's that? We've done 16 digits, it's that easy. So go back through the story, check that you can see and you've got a candle flying which represents a one, four. There's another candle, he jumps up to give a high five, one, five. You go to your next location, you see a snake and he's crying and the water represents the two, so it's nine, two. A golf club's trying to cheer him up, so he's jumping up and giving a high five, six, five. You move to your next location, there's a little triangle. He's trying to give a high five to someone. And coming up out of the ground is a snowman, which would represent the snowman is eight and the ground is nine. So you'll notice each time what we're doing is we're doing the image and then the movement. And those are the, that's the code. That's the code you've got to learn. Then we move to your next location, which for me is some chairs along a wall. And I see a knife coming up from the ground, which represents the seven for the knife and the nine coming up. A little triangle man sits on it and cries. Triangle is three, crying is two. Then we've just got four more digits and then you've done 20 digits of pi. So the next bit is there's these sliding screen doors for me in my memory palace. So you would go to your next location. And we're gonna place the next four digits, which are three, eight, 
four, six. So that's easy enough. So three is a triangle and eight is building a snowman. So what we're gonna do here is you get a little bit creative and you go, well, what could I do with this? I'm gonna build a snowman out of triangles. So you've got the triangle and then you stack another triangle on top because that's the movement. So you've got three, eight, and then it's four, six, and four is a flamingo, and six is either a swinging golf club or something flying through the air, like the ball. So I prefer to use the, um, the action of the ball flying through the air. So I'm gonna use a flamingo, flies through the air, and crashes into these two triangles balancing and gets knocked over and they smash somehow their glass suddenly in my head. So that would represent the two triangles standing on top of each other would be three, and then they're getting stacked on top, eight. Flamingo is four, flying through the air, six. You've just learned 20 digits of pi. Go back through them and check you can do it. Candle flying, candle high five at the first location. One, four, one, five. Then snake crying, nine, two, and there's a golf club jumping up to give a high five, six, five. Then we go onto the couch. Oh, you go to wherever your next location is and I see a little triangle giving a high five to a snowman coming up out of the ground, which represents three, five, eight, nine. The next one is, um, I'm gonna put mine on a chair, but you're gonna put yours wherever your location is. I see a knife coming up out of the ground and a little triangle sits on top of it starts crying because it gets stabbed. So that would be seven, nine, three, two. And then the last one is two triangles stacked on top of each other and a pink flamingo gets flying through them and smashes them onto the ground. So that would be three for the triangle, eight because they're stacked up, four for the flamingo, six flying through. 20 digits of pi, you've done it. So basically we've just remembered 20 digits of pi and the way we've done that is just going through this little code. I just want to point out when I told this to my daughter, it took her about 15 minutes to really get good at being able to recognize the numbers and their movements and being able to put it together. And then it took her about another 15 minutes to get confidence. So she kept going, oh, this isn't working for me. And, oh, me, me, me. and I kept going, come on, just, just keep trying, give it a little bit of a go. And then suddenly she got it. So keep going with it, keep practicing it. And what happens is you become very quick at creating this code. And before you know it, you know, she got to the point where she'd be like, time me, I'm gonna learn another 20 digits. And she was doing it in like a minute and a half. So you will get really good at doing this code and it's a really valuable skill to have. The other thing I wanted to point out is if you wanna hold on to this information, the best way to do it is to learn, say a line of 20 or 40 numbers, then straight away reread them and check that you are seeing the image and that you're understanding it in your head. Then you want to go over it again later that day. You want to go over it again the next morning. And you just kind of want to review it, review, keep going over it periodically for the next little while until it starts to go into your long-term memory. And then over time, you won't have to see these crazy little images. You'll just be able to say the numbers. Um, the other thing I wanted to make a note of is the better your memory palace and the better you become at using memory palaces, the better you'll be at remembering any sort of information that you're putting in them. So make sure you check out my video on memory palaces. Memory palaces are not like a gimmick where you just do them once and then you're an expert. You need to practice them and you'll slowly start to learn different things about them like changing the heights and the angles and, and um, knowing a pathway really clearly helps. Interacting the image with the location helps like where the knife comes up through the ground um, and then into the chair for my, for my image. That helps me remember that because when I go to that location, I see the chair and that reminds me of the action and the image. If you wanna learn digits of pi, get the code going and you're gonna be so surprised at how quickly you can remember numbers. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And that way you'll know when my new videos come out. If you want exclusive memory tips that are only available to my subscribers, head over to masterrecall.com and drop in your email and I'll make sure that you receive memory tips and freebies that are only available to my subscribers.